today what we are going to do is we are going to cover the silent mode installation of the Oracle Arbitrum software. So basically, um, silent mode installation, there are uh, two uh, methods of that one. One is that a complete silent mode installation and then second one is that using the response wire. Okay. In both the cases, we are going to call the same script that is the run installer only. You got me? That is, um, you call the dot slash run installer, right? So when you are calling the run installer, if you have, say, a response file is a file which gives you or which contains all the responses that you are going to give to that installation. For example, during the time of installation, it asks you where is your uh, Oracle base, what is your Oracle um, RDBMS form, and then the uh, database administration group, all the things it asks. So we keep all this information in a file and we we give, we call that one that file as a response file. So when you are calling the run installer, we tell that this is a response file and give the path of the response file. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when, there are two methods of doing. One is that give hyphen silent option. Second one is that without the silent option. So when you are giving the with the hyphen silent option, what happens is that completely that happens without the Oracle user interface. I mean, um, the use GUI will not be available. Am I clear? Yes. Okay. So when you are giving the uh, run installer pl uh, plus response file equal to the response file, line, then Oracle will not prompt you to uh, enter any way, any uh, way, but it will show the the, the um, display. Uh, the uh, uh, installation interface and then it will be proceeding. I mean, you will be able to see that the installation is successful with the progress bar everything. So that is actually um, the uh, requirement of most of the organizations to go ahead with the silent mode is that they don't want to just get the display because getting the display and showing the, um, using the installation via display is a kind of a slowdown process. So they wanted to um, just to start up in a, in a script and uh, leave for one hour. By the time when they come, come back, every installation will, will be completed. So the, we are also going to uh, com, uh, go ahead with a complete silent mode installation. Am I clear here? Okay. Okay. So now next one is that there are how to create the response file. There are two methods of creating the response file. One is that you start up the universal installer. Uh, just like how we are going to do the installation in the pro, uh, UA mode and then give all, prompt or give all the responses and end of the installation it will be or end of the screen it will be asking that you want to create a response file okay at that time just give the yes and save this response file but don't create the database or don't, don't install the Oracle software then once once the response file is created then again call the uh, universal installer with a uh, hyphen silent option, hyphen response file equal to this response file line. That is method number one. Am I clear? Okay. The second method is that the Oracle is already providing a template for the response file. So you just utilize a template, modify as per your requirement and build the installation. Okay. So um, uh, in, uh, we will go ahead with the second method that is we, we modify the existing response file template and you will install us for that. So uh, can you just exit from the uh, ter uh, terminal, just give exit command. Yeah. Then su space hyphen space oracle. Space oracle, yeah. Okay, go to the folder where you have um, answered the software. I think cd slash data, I think. Okay, go to a folder uh, database. Then are you seeing a folder called response? Yes. Go to that folder. That con contains the template of the uh, our installation. Yeah. Let's say. Okay. You can see that db install um, dot response file. So just copy this response file to your uh, Oracle home. I mean to your um, Oracle users home directory. We'll modify that. That's the CP. Um, db install, yeah, db underscore, just type db and press the tab key. 
bb underscore uh, press the tab key uh, space dollar home capital home home letter oh, yeah home yeah enter this form right yeah enter okay now uh, type cd and press enter okay so the now home letter so that you will come back to your home directory enter and now if you are not giving dollar or symbol you will become yeah now 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 the left hand panel you will be see the dev install dot rs is there okay okay now open that file in the dev editor okay now you need to um scroll down okay so the first first thing is that specify the installation option it can be uh, one of the following that is install db software only install db and uh, configure and upgrade db so what we will do that we want to install only the software so oracle dot install option equal to 1 you can see that it is consider of a okay. command and the uh, um, comments and the values so you have to um, read the comments and then provide the uh, corresponding values yes yeah escape key and the letter one yeah correct now come come to the next one scroll down yeah oracle host name now you have to give the host name of your machine if you are not sure no. if you are not sure just open another uh, terminal and type the host name now you can you can hear it file in this existing terminal no. itself no. in that existing terminal itself file open terminal yeah just type host name no no host name yeah Okay, yeah. Just copy the same word and uh, the same O R C L uh, O capital L N X. Yeah. Yes. I think there is a space there, so you have to delete that. Escape D D. Escape D D. Two times B. Yeah. Now go uh, uh, um, go to that uh, uh, um, uh, that Oracle host name uh, line. Just go to that line. Okay. Yeah. Escape dollar. Yeah, fine. Just just to make sure that, that there is no other space mm -hmm. or anything. Like that. Yeah. Now come come to the next line. Okay. Now you have a specific uh, Unix group name. That is nothing but all installed. Yes. Okay. That is a, it. Is asking about the inventory directory. So all installed. Correct. Inventory location. It will be taking automatically here. The inventory will be taking from your etc or ins dot loc. You have already given. Otherwise, you have to specify the inventory location here. So we can um, specify that. What is uh, like a, uh, open another window? Since we have done the installation already, you can open another window and just type the contents of cat space slash etc slash okay. cat slash etc slash oracle. Sorry, or i n s dot l o c. No, no, sorry, or i n s t or i capital. No, or a I N S T O small letter yeah I capital no 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 that is oh, one minute one minute yeah no or a I N S T dot L O C oh I'm sorry or a I N S T dot L O C dot L O C So you can say the inventory location is slash data slash or inventory. Copy that word. 
this is because we have existing or active installation is there. If it was not there, we could have given any path. Am I clear? Okay. You can even type also slash data slash or I meant. Here, the, uh, if you wanted to um, uh, select a language, just give EN. We want only English. There's already an example there, just like that. You can just escape it. EN. Yeah. Now you have the specific next line. You have to specify your Oracle form. So what we can do is that slash data slash DB home underscore two. Escape A, yeah, slash data, slash DB home underscore 2. It should be 2. DB home underscore 1 we already installed, right? So it should be DB home underscore 2. Hello? Uh, one minute, one minute. Yeah. DB home underscore two. What, what is that? What is that? Your Oracle home path is data slash okay. DB home underscore two because DB home underscore oh, two is already yeah. given for some other uh, home, right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, the same way, uh, you have to give the uh, con con uh, scroll down. Yeah, Oracle base. So I think the Oracle base uh, we have to find out for the existing Oracle base. Um, you can just go ahead and uh, dot space or I N V. Space or I N V. Do you remember your database name? Enter. We have created a seven database, right? Yeah. No, I think it's I think it's some cap it, it is some capital letter. Oh yeah, some no no, that, no no, it will not work out. You have to cancel that, and that just press and again, and again call dot space or INV. No, it's not letter. Space uh there is name, right? No no, just press and again, it will not take like that. Okay. And then, when it's asking, just give the data the same. Uh, capital, right? Yeah. Echo Oracle underscore home. Sorry, echo Oracle underscore base. Dollar. Echo dollar Oracle underscore base. It's, it's like data slash 11.2.2. Uh, that is your Oracle base. Okay, echo. Dollar Oracle underscore base. Oracle, Oracle underscore base. Base, right? Okay. Yes. okay. It is slash data slash 11.2.0. 11 yeah. You wanted to give the same thing, other, we can give other name also, but we wanted to maintain a consistency, that's the reason. Otherwise, if it is a fresh okay. installation, you give one path, that's all. Make sure that the path got the right privilege for Oracle. Okay. okay. Scroll down. What is the uh, install edition? We will go with the, with the enterprise edition. So you have to just give EE. Capital letter EE. Correct. Yes. Scroll down. Custom installation false. Okay. That, that's fine. We don't want any custom installation. Yeah. It is taking the default uh, properties. That's fine. Now it's asking the DBA group. Yeah, it will be DBA, smaller to DBA. This DBA group should be already existing and Oracle should be a member of the DBA group. 
just like we uh, how we did the prerequisite uh, activities. Yeah, that also you can just give us DBHL because we don't have any other. Um, no, you can ignore. That also you can ignore because we have selected not to install the database. Okay. Global DB, that, yeah, that values we can ignore. That also ignore. Anything related with the database we can ignore because we are not creating the database as of now. Yes, scroll down. Data 
slash the wisdom underscore two. Now ch mod hyphen capital R. Double seven five space slash data slash bv home underscore two. Now you can come back to the uh, other fold, other uh, there we have, yeah. You can call, um, uh, go to the uh, go to the place where we where, where we have the run installer is there. That is cd, we can just copy, yeah, cd slash data slash database. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to get the run installer help, you can just give dot slash run installer space hyphen help. Minus uh, space hyphen help. So that we will be understanding what are the values we have to give. The end percent again. Yeah. There if you are looking, you can see uh, this is scroll up, you can see one is a Python challenge and these are the different uh, options like uh, yeah. Now you had you had just just a scroll up. I mean, are you think that's uh, no, you think the side? Yeah. Okay. So here, um, yeah, scroll up. I'll tell you. So these are the different options. Yeah, come down. Yeah, you can see that response file equal to. Hyphen response file is capital letter. Okay, so our installation will be uh, uh, dot slash run installer space hyphen silent. That means we want to do the silent installation. Space hyphen okay. response file. Then the path of the response file. That is in our case okay. uh, slash home uh, slash oracle slash uh, then that uh, response file. Okay. okay. So save this. Yeah, okay, uh, except from here, yeah. Just give control key, you will be coming out. Yeah. Now, dot slash. You can just, uh, just type clear before that. Just clear it. Clear the screen, yes. Yeah. Enter. Yeah, dot slash, resp uh, run installer. I cap. I cap. Yeah. Press, uh, yeah. Press the tab key. Yeah. Hyphen silent. Silent. Space hyphen. Response file. F capital. File. Space. Slash home. Slash oracle. Home. Slash oracle. Slash, I think db create underscore response. Just type db and press the, uh, press the tab key. Yeah, enter. So what we have done, we have we are starting the running from silent mode, so it doesn't require GUI, and we are providing the response file which contains all the information required for the installation. No protocol. So that is mandatory. You press enter key. Um, just type uh, edge clock and see whether you are getting the clock. If not, you have to. Yeah. So what you have to do there? You have to go to root user and just type x host space plus. Now x host. X host space plus. 
പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ നൗ യു ട്രൈ വെതർ യു ആർ ഗിവിംഗ് ദ എക്സ്ക്ലോക്ക് yes now you try to try to put the um, uh, uh, run and solve once again given the response file uh, instead of option is not valid okay there must be um, some mistake in the uh, response file just for center thing uh, yeah looks like it is not uh, complete okay just open the response file once again and uh, we'll see okay it should be we have given one but it should be installed um uh underscore db underscore s sw only yeah open the response file we have given number one but it should be the actual value uh, okay open the uh, vi space uh slash home slash oracle slash uh, db underscore install dot response file oracle uh, slash Yeah, db yeah press the db and press it. there go to the first line uh escape one the yeah escape one okay. other is escape uh colon one escape shift dollar i mean shift colon yeah end up I think before that it shows it is uh, go up. It's a little, a little bit go. Yeah, there, yeah. 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 Installed db, uh, install, install, install underscore db underscore software only. Escape U, escape U. You have to remove that to the picture. You don't want the escape X. Yeah. Yeah, escape A. install underscore db underscore sw underscore sw only yeah save it now small, small letter okay hold it again but we will give one more parameter that is uh, hold on uh, after silent that is run install hyphen uh, hyphen silent just give hyphen now config that means we are not going calling any configuration option now config now config yeah config space hyphen response file you can just copy and paste from top okay other is type the number response file space slash home Right. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Slash db. No, db, uh, db hyphen in, uh, yeah. I press the tab key, it will rotate automatically. 
Open another window, go to that uh, location, that is slash 10 slash or I must see. And then just go to the uh, press and okay. Okay, let's open it here. Okay, go to the last folder. No, no not that one. Uh, it, yeah, you can see that the last one will be. No, that is yeah. eleven thirty one. No, that uh, other one is said um, eleven uh, thirty four. Is there? The just above one. No, but the same time here is twenty three thirty. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just go to that photograph folder. Last one, right? Yeah, last one. It would have been created some other child phone. But what you have to do is that actually, um, uh, and uh, see, it is here. It is telling that yeah, it is telling you that um, you can find the log of the installation. So you can just uh, put a, a tail on this file. If you're looking, the installer okay. window is showing you now a log file. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So this is not the folder. Go to the um, um, just go one one yeah. Copy this file. You can copy still copy it. Or else, slash data, slash or inventory logs. Yeah. Or I'll tell you. I'll tell you, Bob. You go to the... Um, smaller round of, yeah. Logs. The last time, right? Yeah. yeah. Install actions to go for the one two. Just uh, type install actions here. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you can easily go by a tab. Just type install, press the tab key. Yeah, uh, one nine. Press the tab key. Press the tab key. Yeah, uh, th three four. Press the tab key. Now, if you are looking, you can see. Uh, if you are looking in another window, you can see that the files are being extracted to slash data slash eleven dot two dot zero slash db form two, which is our uh, db. Yeah. Okay. So this here, just monitoring this file, you will be seeing that when that installation is going to be completed. And after the install, end of the installation, you have to run the root dot as such, as we did for the normal um, uh, GM or installation also. So, uh, so what we have to do is that uh, once this is completed, uh, the log file will be seeing that it's completed. Once it is completed, you have to run the root dot as such, how we did for the normal installation. Okay. Huh? There will not be any yeah. other. Uh, yeah. As login as a root user, just run the root dot as such. That should be fine. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? 